video. I am so excited to be doing this. This is gonna be a wedding hacks, how to get married for under a thousand pounds. This is not clickbait, this is not a joke. This is everything from your wedding dress to your venue, to the cake, to the invites everything for under a thousand pounds. When I got engaged, I was so shocked as I started looking at the prices of how much it costs to get married. I think now the average wedding in the UK is just under 30,000 pounds, which is ridiculous to me. So I set myself the challenge to see if I could help you get married for under a thousand pounds. Even if you have more money to spend, then hopefully this video will give you a ton of ideas to save money and for this video to give me a little bit of extra help with this challenge. I have teamed up with Claire Elizabeth Cakes and Holly of All Trades, two of my absolute favourite girlies online. So if you love cake making or you love DIY, you're going to want to subscribe to their channels. I'm going to link them both below. But you're going to be seeing a little bit more of them in this video. And before we get started, I'm Becky and I make beauty lifestyle and hacks videos. Some of you guys might already know this, but some of you guys might be new here. And if you are, I'm going to leave a link to my channel below as well and the big red subscribe button, which you guys can just click on and join the Talk Becky Talk family. So you get engaged, it's really exciting. One of the most important things when you're getting married, I feel, is the dress. Most of them start at around a thousand pounds. So I found some amazing ways to save money on wedding dresses that are absolutely beautiful. ASOS and Misguided have started to do their own range of wedding dresses and some of them start at around £30. And then I found some amazing ones on Etsy by designers that I had never heard of and there are some beautiful gowns that you can get. But the absolute steal. I found wedding dresses under £10. I went on eBay and I ordered a load of wedding dresses. It wasn't just good enough to look at the photo. I'm going to try these on now and show you guys what I think of my £10 wedding dresses. This is definitely my favourite one. This is actually the first one that I tried on. I would genuinely wear this on my wedding day. This is a style that I really, really like and the detail on it, it actually felt really thick, the material as well. I love this one. I'm seeing so many brides do like T-length dresses. It's so vintage and pretty. This is definitely a more casual one, but I love the idea of this. Maybe if you were getting married abroad in the sunshine, the back is so beautiful. I was so impressed with these dresses. I filmed a reaction video when I was trying these on. So write wedding in the comments if you want me to do a full video reviewing each dress in detail on eBay. Some of them that I unpackaged were pretty hilarious and it doesn't stop there. I have another pile, bridesmaid dresses, again, all under 10 pounds, and I bought these off eBay. So here we go, let's have a little look what they look like. This is so cute. I feel like this is the perfect bridesmaid dress for summer with the coral color. This was definitely my favorite one. I love the color and the kind of split length skirt, but the neck is just beautiful. I'm gonna take this on holiday with me, and it was four pounds. Oh my gosh, I love red so much. This one is so stunning. I can definitely imagine these as bride made dresses at like a winter wedding or in a stately home. I love the back of them. Suits can cost a fortune, but I found out when I was researching this video, Oxfam actually have a load of wedding shops. So they have certain shops, if you go online and you look at their stores, that hold wedding suits. It's amazing. They start from around 20 pounds, which is absolutely nothing. Plus, you're donating to charity at the same time, which I feel like is such a nice thing to do. It's all really exciting and you want to send the invites out and then you realise how much wedding invitations actually cost. And even if you can be bothered to make them yourself, you still have to pay for all the stamps on them. So my hat is not just cheap, I would actually love to get one of these. There is a website called Fiverr, which some of you may have heard of. It's basically everything is under $5, so that's around £3.50. So you could get a wedding invitation video custom made by a designer and it's personal to you. And I also found a website called Wedding Chicks, which is basically free templates for RSVPs and invitations and wedding information. And then you just fill your details in and print them off. It's free. Who's gonna moan? It's completely free. The cake. I love my cake. I literally love cake and wedding cakes are ridiculous 
ridiculously expensive. I couldn't actually believe how much a piece of sponge costs, even though it is beautiful. So my amazing friend Claire Elizabeth Cakes is literally the most yummiest, scrummiest cake decorator ever. You can buy your own tiered wedding cake for £35 from Asda, and then Claire is going to show you how you can create the most amazing wedding cake. She does everything from chocolate drips to flowers. This would be such a lovely thing for you and your bridesmaids to do the night before the wedding. Fresh flowers as well on a cake look so beautiful and actually it doesn't need to be that neat because it's quite rustic. So if you want to know how to feed your guests with your wedding cake for under £50, head on over to Claire's channel, Table Decorations. It doesn't matter how much of a budget you're on, you still need something on the tables and it can cost a fortune. So, not anymore. I found some amazing decorations at B&M Bargains and Poundland. I put together this table with these little scatter crystals and gems and then beautiful tea light heart holders. You only need to spend a couple of pounds on each table and the whole room will look beautiful. Flowers, 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 flowers. I feel like flowers are one of the most expensive things about a wedding and you have to have flowers on the table and flowers in your hand and flowers on the little pocket. So for this hack, Holly of all trades is going to show you how to do the most amazing DIY flowers. This is becoming so trendy at the moment and it saves so much money. If you can go to a flower market and get hold of some of the flowers, these are so easy to do. This is literally going to save you thousands of pounds. And again, it can be so nice to do the night before, get all your bridesmaids together. Holly of all trades is a boss at this. Like her videos are insane. DIY tutorial galore. The venue, another huge expense on the day and I have some really, really good tips to get this for cheap. One of the websites that I found researching this is called Halls for Hire and you can get the most amazing places starting from four pounds an hour. Like four pounds, that is absolutely nothing. Once you're dancing the night away and you decorate the hall, it will look so beautiful and if you're really bothered about your photos and the venue being pretty, have your photos taken elsewhere like in a beautiful nearby park. Even local restaurants, I'm starting to see so many people get married in like their favorite restaurant nearby and often the restaurant just requires a minimum spend so you're not even having to pay to have your wedding at the venue and choose to have your wedding on a Sunday or off peak this massively reduces the cost like I know this honestly ringing up the differences in venues can be 50% less like 50% of the charge and if it's gonna be warm enough and you've got the space to do it outside or in someone's garden then why don't you just get a load of tree logs and blankets and create the most magical amazing wedding picnic in a garden you could do an I do barbecue which would be so amazing just get everybody to bring a little bit of food and a little bit of booze food again massive expense so a few tips for you guys get married later in the day so you only have to feed your guests once do something really different like having an afternoon tea you could do tiny little picnic baskets I'm seeing a lot of these picnic hamper and Prosecco weddings happening on Pinterest and not only are they really cheap but they actually look really fun. Have your wedding cake as your pudding. Nobody remembers the wedding cake so you might as well save on the cost of buying a pudding, cut the cake and then give that to everyone for their dessert. And another really nice idea that I had to save money on the evening buffet is to get each of your guests to bring their own dish. So kind of like the bake-off but for your family and friends it would actually be a really nice talking point for your guests to tell each other what they'd made. Photo and videos can be so expensive we're talking like thousands of pounds one really good tip is to approach a college that does a photography or a media course and see if anyone on that course wants to do your photographs or videos for very very cheap I remember doing this when I was at university I was desperate for the cash and for the experience some photography and media students are incredible and they're like six months away from charging a lot of money or you could just create an online album and then get all of your guests to upload their photos after the day. I know a lot of people want a wedding planner. Weddings can get very stressful and it's nice to have someone or something with you helping you with everything that you need to do and they can be so expensive. So a top tip for you guys is to get something called Appy Couple. I actually found this when I got an invite to someone else's wedding. It's £39 and it's basically an online wedding planner and it does everything for you right the way down to sending the guests the information. Guests can upload photos, they can send their RSVPs back to this. It tells you when 
you need to be doing things in the countdown to your own wedding. Drinks, oh, another massive expense because you kind of really want to give your guests at least one drink on arrival. So when I'm having a massive party, I actually just get my Prosecco from Lidl or Audi or Costco. I swear, it's so nice and it's about four pounds a bottle. So find a venue that lets you bring your own booze and you've got your welcome drinks covered for less than 50 pounds. Wedding rings. We love the glitz, but it can really cost a lot of money. And I actually found a beautiful range online on Very, starting from £30. I could not believe how nice their range of rings were. And £30 is not going to break the bank. And this is a really good tip if you want to source your own engagement ring and save a shed load of money on either your wedding band or your diamond engagement ring. This diamond actually came from Blue Nile, and I didn't realize how much money you save buying it online. It comes with a GIA certificate, so don't be scared about buying jewelry online. It's an incredible way to get a lot more bang for your buck. So then you need to make the venue look really nice. Decorations can cost a fortune. Before you know it, you spent hundreds, if not thousands. So I hit the pound shops again, and I actually found, look at these, the most like amazing decorations for a pound. So you can show all your guests which way to go to the wedding. I feel like this would look so cute hanging from a little tree. And then you could put little candles and lantern holders in trees and just put little tea lights in. And then I found these really cool hanging balls as well. Again, they were a pound and they were pink and white and you could put these all around the venue and they would look beautiful. And look, this was a pound too. You can have this next to your planner and then you just chalk in how many days until we say, I do. I thought this was really cute. I also found a website called Ginger Ray, which is a basically wedding decoration website, but for very, very cheap. Hair and makeup. You want to look your best on your wedding day, and just because you're getting married on a budget doesn't mean that you have to use really cheap makeup or go without having a makeup artist, which can cost a lot of money. So I came up with this really good hack. I was actually quite impressed with myself with this one. So you can buy a voucher to have a makeover at most makeup counters like MAC or Charlotte Tilbury whichever your favorite makeup counter is go and buy a makeover for about 30 pounds book it in for your wedding day and then you can redeem that voucher against makeup so obviously you could just buy the lipstick that you're going to wear on the day so you can use that lipstick to top up like I don't know why more people don't do this so you're basically getting the makeup artist for free and then going away with a lipstick or lip gloss or whatever you need to get through the day and then rope in any of your friends that know how to do hair or watch YouTube videos like really learn how to do wedding hair I actually would just do my own hair on my wedding day because I really know how I like to curl it it's coming to the end of the night everyone wants to dance and the DJ costs quite a lot of money so a really good way to do this is to just create your own Spotify playlist or playlist on your phone that you can play a really nice thing to do as well which I've done loads of times that I've gone to weddings is they actually ask for my favorite song so they compile all the guests favorite songs together on a playlist and you know everyone is going to be up on that dance floor Oh, the shoes, how could I forget the shoes? Again, one of the most lovely things to wear on the day. Like I've literally seen some that are like 500 pounds, ridiculous. And I found the most gorgeous wedding shoes in Primark. I am such a Primark fan anyway, but I rooted out some gorgeous shoes that would be so perfect on your wedding day. My favorite ones were actually six pounds. You still wanna give your wedding guests like a favor. I feel like everybody likes a favor at a wedding. If I don't get a favor, I'm really disappointed. And that can be another 100 pounds. So a really nice idea is to actually give people seeds that they can grow when they get home and when they flower they will remember your wedding day. I love sunflowers so I thought a really nice idea would be to give everyone a sunflower and there are some websites where you can buy seeds for literally a couple of pennies. And finally, the honeymoon. This goes a little bit out of budget, but it depends what you want to spend. But this is a really good tip. Go on lastminute.com and go on secret hotels and they slash the prices of honeymoons and holidays and hotels. You're not supposed to know where you're going. That's why it's so cheap. But if you just copy and paste the description into Google, it just comes up with the hotel. So my little lovebirds, I hope that saved you so much money. Whatever you do, don't say the double you when you're planning your wedding because everybody hikes up the prices. Congrats if you're getting married guys or even if you're just dreaming of your dream wedding and I will see you in my next video. Bye!